What's poppin', what's great? Model King Boxing, True Media World, UGC, The Underground, Black Horseman Promotion started True Media. Boxing fans worldwide, let's get it. This is Bernie the Boxer, Model King Boxing, Fan in the Flame, let's get it. T-Bud World, Real Boxing Talk. Groupie showed up. Yeah, you know what I mean? I like the positive vibe that y'all had out there in Omaha with the community, man. That was awesome to watch. You see what I'm saying? He's a people's champion. Yes, sir. He's man. the people's champion. You know, and I hate comparing him to Spence, but I was like, damn, what, what Spence do for the community? What they do for the strip club? What? What's going on? Ain't nothing wrong with the strip club, but like, where's the community at? You know what I mean? Like, he don't even go on their channels or talk to nobody. To each stay on. Now, like I say, he ain't got, to me, he ain't got no substance. He ain't got no character. Listen, man, huh? I, I, his daddy wish he had a daughter. Fuck. His daddy wish he had a daughter. I, 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 like I told him this, ain't no way. Listen, Crawford mama was sending him out there to fight motherfuckers. Crawford mama was sending him to fight motherfuckers that think they could do something with him. His daddy let him sit on the sidelines. His daddy let him sit on the sidelines. What that say? His daddy let him sit on the sidelines. Huh? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I left in DC, man. Go kick my milk. Knock my eggs over. My mother saw that. She said, get your ass out there and fight. And that's what happens, man. Come on, man. What I say? Yeah, I just wanted to call in and um, talk about that and, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the press conference, man. You know what I mean? Well, I, like I say, I think all everything y'all's been said, you know, but I think they done already threw a little couple shots already, so you never know getting into it. Like I say, we uh we did have a couple little things at first, and I had kind of let the stuff subside, but like I say, uh, Earl Spence made that post and trying to, uh, you know, trying to hit the low blows and trying to be funny, so, you know, he just kind of reignited it, but I don't think we're going to go overboard with it, you know. Like I say, I, I, when I see him, I, I tell him to his face, though. You ain't got no class, you no character in your ass is whoop, motherfucker. Now, I'm any of them. Anybody in Texas that wanted with Bernie, I'm taking on all comers, you understand? All comers. Whether it be however you want it. That's true. what you believe, man. That's the thing. They'll try to silence you if you don't. But I was looking at that, um, that cowboy situation where he's with Jerry Jones, and I heard he wasn't even mention Crawford's name. Like, what type of promotion is he trying to do? He wasn't even mention Crawford's name. Like, I heard about that today. I mean, the whole, the whole nine, bro. Just the whole everything. Like I say, he shit on the fight from day one. He should have been pumping the fight. Say, me and Crawford, we definitely going to get in. We definitely going to get in. He ain't said nothing. He ain't never missed nothing. He, he never missed no, never. He should, that's what he should have been carrying in himself. He had everything. I'm gonna fight Crawford. I'm gonna fight. But he always had something to say. Everything else, something negative, the shit on the fight. Never, ne- never nothing for the to promote the fight. Like I say, he, you know, I heard him just say a couple good things about Bud, but when he had the chance, like I say, when he got off the fight, when he came back from uh, the accident and they had him on there, Canelo was fighting. I think and they talking about him fighting Canelo. Man, come on, Canelo. Canelo gon' fight this punk. 
40, whatever we get. That's how you talk about Bud. When Bud never say nothing, I don't give a fuck what I say. I don't care what Bud say. Bud never say nothing against you. And the first thing you say is talking about Bud like that, whatever we give him. Come on, man. You feeling yourself too much. That's why we gonna beat his ass. That's why we gonna beat his motherfucking ass. That's why we gonna beat his motherfucking ass. I swear, that's why we gonna beat it. And that's why I wanna beat his motherfucking ass. Shit like that. Go 12 rounds with us. 